This is the red-backed salamander. Um, the scientific name for that is Plethodon cinereus or Plethodon serratus. Cera I'm not sure what species this is, to be honest. Uh, I'll let you know in the comments if I do find out. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night and I was flipping some stones uh, to find some earthworms for my baby garter snake and uh, I actually thought this was an earthworm at first and it wasn't. It's a um, red-backed garter snake, or not garter snake, red-backed salamander. Pretty cool. Um, I'm tempted to keep them, but the uh, truth of the matter is um, I really don't have the time for what I already have. Um, it's hard enough to keep what I have. Um, and uh, if I'm having any new additions in the future, I want to make sure it's something uh, I really want. And uh, if this would have been a few years ago, I'd have been happy to keep this. I used to be with Sus of Salamanders, but uh, now, um, uh, not that I don't care about them or anything, they're really neat, but uh, I don't have any desire to keep one for myself. Really neat. Here, I'll show them you on my arm uh, so you can get a cool size uh, comparison. You always want to make sure you wash your hands when you touch amphibians too, because uh, your hand oils aren't particularly good for them, and neither are any kind of uh, residues that you probably have on your hands from going about your day. Pretty cool. That cat food is for my blue tongue skink. <laughs> The uh, camera quality on the iPhone is pretty decent. I'll, I'll hand it to Apple. Oops. There you go. Alright, well, I think I've disturbed him enough. I'm going to put him back under a stone. I found him and let him go about his day. Just wanted to take a quick video of him because I thought it was interesting. Dude, he is pretty neat. Alright, thanks.